Lee Sterling of ParamountSports.com, and today I'm going to break down what is always a game everyone looks forward to. It's a game between the Oklahoma Sooners and the Texas Longhorns. It's the Red River Shootout. So we're going to break down and predict this game for you. But first, let me tell you what we have going on at Paramount Sports this weekend. Well, we have started off October winning week, winning in the football, NBA, MMA. You want to hop on board? We don't call it October around here. We call it Locktober. You can get four weeks, and, and normally 100 bucks a week. But if you use coupon code SAVE300, just $197 for four weeks of our executive phone service. And it looks like we're probably going to have another 45 to 50 unit play this week. So you want to hop on board, use coupon code SAVE300, ParamountSports.com, just 50 bucks a week, or call us here at the office, 800 400 Nine seven four one. Now, on to this game being played at the Cotton Bowl, where the Texas State Fair usually is, but isn't this year because of COVID. It's Oklahoma laying two against Texas. Now, this is an elimination game. Oklahoma's lost two games. Texas has lost one. Whoever loses this game, they're done. They're done. They're not have no chance of getting to even a big bowl or winning the conference. OU. Why have they been able to be a little bit better than Texas the last couple of years? My opinion, just quality athletes at the skill positions, maybe a little bit better than Texas. Uh, for instance, look at the running game. Uh, last year, they ran for 5.5 yards per carry. This year, three games, just 3.5 yards per carry. Their defense, only two takeaways. Texas, five takeaways, a little bit better. Whereas the last couple of years, even though Sam Erlinger, a really good quarterback for Texas, running and throwing the ball, was good, they had guys winning the Heisman. So, you know, when you got Murray, when you have heard, you got guys like that that can run and throw maybe a little bit better than Erlinger, they had the edge. Texas, you know, a couple times looks like they made plays and those quarterbacks would extend plays and turn them into big gainers and they would get the lead by 10, 14 points and t Texas just couldn't catch up. I think the difference this year is finally Texas has the best quarterback. Erlinger, dual threat. I think he wants to go out on top and beat Oklahoma. Spencer Rattler, talented for Oklahoma, but he's a true freshman. I'm sorry, richer freshman. He's not there yet. He's close. He has some great moments. Then he has some bad moments. He'll make some bad reads, reading defenses and throw an interception. Not the running threat. So, Dog also in this series, 26-11, and 11, last 37 games. Texas finally exacts that revenge and wins 38 to 24. Wrong team's favorite. Take the Texas Longhorns. You want to hop on board and start winning like you've never won before? Just go to ParamountSports.com. Locktober, four weeks through Monday, November 2nd. Just $197. Or call us here at the office, 800-400-9741. Start winning today.